I'm Jason. And I'm Ray. And today we're going to give you a walkthrough of our home. We purchased a 2018 Grand Design Solitude. The model number is 375 Res and we love it. It's 13 and a half feet tall, 42 feet long. So grab a drink and settle in because <laughs> this is going to be a long video. So let's start with Ray showing you the inside. All right. inside. This obviously is our front door and our only door. It does have a screen. On this side, this first cupboard isn't a cupboard at all. It's just our control panel that has all of our light switches, our black water and fresh water tank um, gauges, and then also it controls the slides. Um, when you first walk in, you also have this little entryway area that's really nice just to throw stuff on. As you can tell, we just throw our keys and our wallet, and that's about that for this section. Immediately to your left, <laughs> immediately to your left is our dining room area, which is actually our office. So we do spend most of our time in this one slide. Uh, these chairs came standard. This was the pattern for Grand Design, and it's not the best, but it's also definitely not the worst. <laughs> so the table does pull out an extra, probably a foot, but there isn't a leaf that goes in there, so it's more so just to pull it out so you could fit four chairs, which it does come with four chairs, but the other two are stored under our bed right now. Let's move over to this side of the kitchen. Alrighty, so this is our kitchen. And one thing that we really, really loved about this kitchen was all of the storage space. This was probably the biggest rig with the most storage space that we've ever seen. So this was a big selling point for us as well. We do have our pantry over here. It has four shelves and obviously holds a lot of stuff. Our refrigerator is a RV refrigerator. It is 18 cubic feet and it is, what's it called when you can open both doors? French style? So yeah, standard fridge. We do have an island in the middle of our kitchen with a stainless steel faucet and a double-sided sink it is pretty deep, so that's nice as well. Plenty of storage underneath with our trash can and then two drawers. And behind me is our kitchen stove. So this is a propane stove. I hate electric, so that was a big no-no for me. Um, but yeah, we have the stove, the oven, convection, microwave, Nothing too crazy. Everything you need. And then on the other side is plenty of counter space with two silverware drawers and space underneath for pots and pans. And then we have even more storage over here. So this is what feels like to me a bar area, but in reality it's just more counter space. And this is open here because it is prepped for another TV. However, this RV already came with two TVs, so I don't know if it's necessary to have a third TV in 400 square feet, but to each their own. Again, plenty of storage space with two small cupboards on each side, and then three drawers, and another cabinet over here with more storage. So honestly, we have more storage than we know what to do with in this kitchen. So. Let's move up to the living room. All right, so this is the living area. It has two jackknife couches. Um, they advertise them as two queens, but they are a little bit smaller because we're talking RV queens here. All of the blinds in the rig are soft clothes, so they don't slap up in your face every time you open them. 
There are plenty of windows and they all open so you really can get a good breeze coming through here if you don't want to run the ACs or you don't have hookups and you can't. And then behind me we have a ton of storage space. All, well, three of these cabinets open. One is not really a cabinet, it's just the control panel for all of the audio. But the other three are storage and they're just full of camera equipment. We do have a 42 inch TV that comes up and I will probably time lapse this because it's pretty slow. <laughs> All right, <laughs> here's the TV. Uh, it came with the rig. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done. Underneath the TV is our fireplace. Where's the clicker? <laughs> All right, so this is our fireplace, and honestly, we love it. It adds a great ambiance. You can have the heater on or off, which is great. It runs off electric, and it does have six different settings that just changes the lights from orange and blue, and then it even has where the fake wood is, you can replace that. It, they have a tube that they gave us and it has fake rocks and crystals in there. So it's really cool and honestly, it's one of my favorite features. So next to the fireplace is even more storage space with that we have just kind of thrown more computer stuff into and our games, but it's great storage space to have. All right, so that is one half of the living room. So let me go ahead and show you the other half. All right, so these are the two reclining chairs that face the television. Um, they are really nice. We love them. They have heated seats. They have a massager in them. They have lights underneath them. Carmen really likes them too. <laughs> and then obviously they recline. So they're great little additions to have. And when you're watching a movie, they're perfect. But what else can you really say about reclining seats? We also have another cabinet right here. So this place, again, is just full of storage space. We really just throw the picture frames in there on moving day and we have a couple extra games in there. And then last but not least, we have <laughs> this curtain that actually slides all the way across. So when you have guests, they can have some privacy and it's really nice, so. That wraps it up for the living room. Let's walk on over to the bedroom. Let's actually stop into the bathroom first. So this is the bathroom. There is nothing special about the bathroom, but we wanted to show it to you anyway. Um, obviously you have your standard RV toilet with the foot pedal flush. The bathroom, it has a little seat in here for people who like to sit while they shower. Um, it has your standard RV shower head, which I know a lot of people replace, but for us it really hasn't been a problem, so we've just left it. And then we have our sink. In a lot of RV models that we looked at, the sink is actually built into the fake countertop, which is fine, but I actually really liked the style of having what looks to be a residential sink. The only thing that they kind of got wrong with this was the faucet. It's so far back that I've seen a lot of people who have done modifications and added a different faucet that comes further into the sink. So I actually think we might do that modification because this drives us insane. Then you have your behind the mirror medicine cabinet with four shelves. Underneath is two more cupboards with storage space. And then the last place for storage in the bathroom is this thing, which is not very wide at all, but it goes all the way to the back of the shower. So you can really throw a lot of stuff in there. And the entryway, as I said, isn't wide, but it actually goes pretty far back this way too. So you are talking like a really big area of space. It just can't be wider than this. So we throw all of our towels in there. All right, off to the bedroom. <laughs> all right, here's the bedroom. 
and just like the rest of this fifth wheel it does have a lot of storage space so right off the bat you have a six drawer built-in dresser and we have a closet behind me here it just holds all of our jackets and our dirty laundry but it is prepped for a washer and dryer if you want one of those in your rig it'd be super easy just to buy a stackable and throw it in here there is also great storage space in the closet, which I will show you in a second. But since we're over here, the last thing I wanted to point out on this side is the TV that did come with the rig. We don't actually use it because we don't like watching TV in the bedroom. But for those of you that like falling asleep with the TV on, if you buy it new, it comes with it. So now I'll show you the closet. All right, here is the closet. It is a lot of space. It comes back around here. I don't know if you can actually see that better, but it comes back around here and it goes all the way back here. So you have a lot of hanging space and it is actually curved because this is the front of the coach. So we, this is where the hitch is underneath. So it pretty much just hugs the cap. They use like every storage space that you can get in this. And then my favorite part is behind the clothes, there's a shoe rack, which is awesome. And even on top of that, there's plenty of floor space for more shoes. <laughs> Last but not least, they also added a shelf up here, which is great for obviously we've just thrown shorts and hats up here. All right. So this is actually our king size mattress that we jammed in here. This rig is offered as having a queen or an optional king, but that always means RV queen, RV king, which is always a little bit smaller. So it did come with shelves right here that we had to unscrew and take out to be able to fit our regular king size bed. And that's the only thing that kind of sucks. Technically, if we got around to it, we really could just put the shelves back in just higher, but we're lazy, so what are you gonna do? And then on each side of the bed, there is an outlet, which is great for charging your cell phone. And on the ceiling, we do have speakers that can be controlled from the unit I showed you in the living room. And then we also have duct AC vents with an AC right here and another one in the living room. So it's great to have a separate AC in the bedroom because we don't have to try and either cool the whole rig, we can just cool one room at a time. All right, so last but not least, the bed does lift up, so there is storage under here, and then we do also have this cool little, it's almost like a seat that you could put your shoes on, but then even this comes up and there's more storage underneath. That's where we put all of our extra blankets. So, as I said before, ton of storage in this rig. It's great. We actually can't fill every nook and cranny, which is a big plus. We don't want to. But other than that, I don't really think there's anything else to show you inside. So I'm going to hand it over to Jason to give you the tour of the outside. All right. Our first stop here on the outside is a bay that is normally used for a generator, which we didn't opt into. So it also houses our batteries and is prepped for solar. This rig comes standard with a Trail Air Rotoflex hitch. Over here in the front door side, we have one propane tank compartment that houses a 30 pound propane tank and our main front storage. One of my major issues with this rig overall was the fact that this front storage bay is a little too big. As you can see, when the door shut, they hit. All right, let's go to the back bed. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, we have the solid step by Lippert that goes all the way to the ground and we love it. And a carefree awning that has an LED light on it. So let's continue to the storage. 
So here's the main reason that we purchased this rig specifically because all the other rigs we looked at had the front storage only. This one has massive under storage. This whole compartment is full pass-through storage. It has electrical outlets and standalone lighting. Another big plus is it has ducted heating underneath here as well. Let's go check out the back. The massive storage continues back here. With a large more ride pull-out storage solution standard that can hold 800 pounds. We've seen lots of videos with people putting kayaks back here, bikes, and it's just a great space. So, let's go check out the other side storage. This side has its own storage area as well. And the other side of the huge pass-through storage. Let's go check out the utility compartment in the front. Out here we have our hot water heater and furnace output, which is not door side, which I like, and our utility closet. So in here is where we have water, we have a secondary water filter, and black tank flush, everything else. And then here's the other side of that front pass-through storage. We also have another 30 pound propane tank right here on this side. This unit comes 50 amp standard, has one sewer outlet, two gray tanks, one black tank, and one freshwater tank. It has the six point auto leveling system and two 7,000 pound axles. This unit has five slides and two Coleman Mach air conditioning units. All right, well that concludes our tour. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys. I don't think I want to show them the inside of our fridge. No, that's fine. <laughs>